Hey everybody, it's Kelly Chilton at Kelly Chilton Art. I'm demonstrating Chinese brush painting in the spontaneous style, also known as Xie. Uh, these are mountains and Lake Lucerne in Switzerland in the Swiss Alps. So right now I'm painting with gray, which is water with a little bit of ink mixed in. Uh, you might be able to tell I've got a little bit of a dirty sort of violet blue at the tip. So I wanted a little bit of that blue color you see. Um, you know, sort of off in the distance. Um, it was just a tiny bit at the tip, and I really don't, I, I can't really tell you what color is just a dirty color I had left over. So um, once I loaded that brush, I, I dried it really well to get that sort of texture. Uh, I didn't want any of it bleeding together, and I'm trying to leave some white space, uh, some, uh, you know, negative area, some white coming in and out, uh, you know, you really try to do that in every painting. Um, and you can see, I, I, I even rinsed off the brush a little bit, you know, because I wanted even lighter in the background. So the painting will get darker as you come further forward as landscapes do when you're looking at them, um, just in real life. So I've switched to the mountain, um, from the mountain horse brush to a large flow brush here, uh, to get a different texture. Um, I'm sort of mixing between between that rough texture to starting to get more more of a blend. Um, as we come further closer, we're not really going for the snow capped peaks anymore. We're we're going to a different ridge. Uh, that ridge is just more of a scraggly scraggly blue, blue mountain um, under the snow line. And then as you come closer, you know vegetation's able to grow. Uh, but all through these mountains, all through any large mountains, in, in my experience, uh, the ones I've seen, you know, they, they all have faces, they all have, you know, noses where, where it sticks out and ridges, um, all the really big ones. So throughout the whole mountain from top to bottom, I'm still trying to keep, you know, some edges intact and to, to give it a sense of dimension to make it look that parts are closer and parts are farther. And so how, how I did that as it came further down towards you is, um, you know, the, the difference in dark and light and different sections of this mountain will be further back and the further back ones are darker. Um, so you've got the dark, uh, on the tip, but you know, vegetation is able to grow. So now it's very green and it's very bright. And, you know, this is just what I got out of what I was looking at. But um, one of the beauties of of the Chinese brush painting is that, you know, one of the treasures is the rice paper. And so it's not going to look exactly like this when, it, when it's finished, when it's dried. Um, sometimes it's a little bit of a surprise to me <laughs> because... Uh, as I use different papers, they react differently. So that's why at, in these videos, I always show you the end result also, because, um, sometimes I'm, you know, I've got something in mind that's a little different than what it looks while I'm painting. And sometimes I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit surprised. So here it looks like I'm leaving like an awful lot of white space and it doesn't make sense, but I kind of know in the back of my mind that this is all going to blend together. Um, so it's not going to be as like quite as stripy as it looks when it dries. Um, but here I'm starting to just finesse, finesse the spaces a little bit, um, and try to add, you know, a little balance of dark and light. Um, these are little, I took them to be islands. I honestly could not tell from the distance whether these were islands in the photo. There's, I was doing this from a photo of that a friend uh, sent me, um, I could not tell whether these were islands or whether they were attached, but they were, it was the, it seemed to be the furthest, you know, the, the closest to you. They were filled with trees. And, um, if I wanted these trees to be, uh, more distinct, I would have waited for this painting to dry more, but I was really happy with the blended look. Uh, it was just what I was going for. So I was happy just to put things in there that were going to, you know, flow all over the place. Cause that's the look I was going for, but this is still how you would, you would put in trees. Um, you just 
wait a little longer for it to dry. All right, so um, Lake Lucerne is known, it's, it's very, very, very bright blue. Um, in Chinese painting, you typically leave the water white, but I did want to break up the space a little bit and also account for the beautiful blue of the lake. So um, please, you know, feel free to ask questions and um, comment. Definitely follow if you are interested. I'm going to put some more tutorials up. And um, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you're taking care of yourself. Bye.